The head of the UN's environment program has warned that the United States and China are among countries that need to make additional commitments at the Copenhagen Climate Conference, which began on Monday. Akim Steiner said that if they didn't, momentum to agree a new deal to curb climate change could falter. While he praised proposals from Brazil and Indonesia, Steiner said that offers by China and India showed that negotiators from those countries remained more guarded. And commenting on the United States and China, he said he thought the numbers put forward by some countries were the bottom end of what they could offer, rather than the ceiling. Analysts have warned that Ma Ying-jeou may slow down his push for improved ties with China after Taiwanese voters showed disquiet with his policies in local elections. 17 counties and cities were contested in Saturday's poll, and Ma's Kuomintang party lost control of two, while the pro-independence opposition DPP gained one. The KMT won 12 of the 17 available counter seats, but its overall share of the vote slipped significantly, with the DPP winning an additional 7% of the vote compared with four years ago. Ma's poor showing comes just weeks before China and Taiwan are due to hold a fourth round of talks aimed at deepening economic integration across the Taiwan Strait. Tip-offs on internet and mobile WAP sites containing pornographic content have surged after authorities announced last week they would pay each qualified informer a reward of up to $1,500. In the day following the announcement, authorities received more than 13,000 online tip-offs and more than 500 phone calls, 10 times the usual daily number. Mobile phone carriers have been criticized recently after a rise in online sites accessible only through mobile phones were used to distribute porn, which is illegal in China. Similar material on the internet is filtered, but authorities have been stung by this newly discovered loophole. Four people were killed and at least six others were injured after a truck fully loaded with gunpowder exploded in Hubei province. The accident happened at night on a section of the Beijing to Zhuhai Highway in the city of Xiaogan. The truck was heading for Hebei province in the north of China, carrying five tons of gunpowder to a fireworks manufacturing factory ahead of next year's spring festival. The explosion destroyed three vehicles nearby and damaged 7,500 square feet of the road surface. China's Yangzhou coal mining has received official approval for its takeover of Australian coal mining company Felix Resources. The $3 billion deal reached by the two companies in August would be the largest of its kind between Chinese and Australian firms. Yangzhou said China's National Commission of Development and Reform has approved its bid to take over 100% of Felix. Felix currently oversees an approved coal reserve of 1.5 billion tonnes in Australia. More than 4,000 people in Xinjiang tested positive for HIV in the first nine months this year. The total number of HIV carriers and AIDS patients in the region is now over 27,000, making Xinjiang the fourth most infected region in the country. The committee also estimated that the actual number of HIV AIDS patients in Xinjiang is more than 60,000 and that sex is now the major source of transmission. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.